Hi guys, welcome to Optometry Reels. Today we are going to discuss about convergence uh, anomalies. Last video we have talked about accommodative anomalies. This video we will talk about convergence anomalies. So again in convergence anomalies we are going to divide into three parts. The first part we are talking about AC by ratio will be low and second part the AC by ratio will be normal and the third part there will be high AC by ratio. So first we are going to talk about the insufficiencies. So we are going to talk about low AC by ratio where we are having two categories convergence insufficiency and divergence insufficiency. So in convergence insufficiencies obviously there will be exophorias for near but we are talking about the distance in the two category. Maybe in distance there will be ortho or in distance there will be exo. So uh, the symptoms of convergence insufficiency there will be more problem for the near. They will be talking about diplopia, blur visions, eye strains whenever we are doing more, most near works. Also there will be uh, sometime when we are reading certain things people will be feeling some sleepiness. So that could be the reason for patient having the convergence insufficiencies. So coming to the signs of convergence insufficiency whereas patient will be having a high uh, exophorias for the near and there will be receding of NPC, positive fusional virgins where we will be doing with the base out prisms they will be having less value for positive fusion versions. In the versions facility, they will be having base out difficulty. So coming to the accommodation parameters, there will be uh, all the plus lens difficulties, which we are talking about binocular accommodative facility, they will be having plus lens difficulty. And there will be low MEM, which means the MEM is going to the lead. And another plus lens test is the NRA. So there will be a low NRA. And the main thing is here we are talking about there will be low AC by ratio. So in uh, usually when we are doing the binocular vision assessment we will be following the gradient method of AC by ratio that we have already videos of AC by ratio how to do with gradient method with uh, modified Thorington. And now we are going for the divergence insufficiency. So obviously we will be talking about the four years for the distance. So patient will be having low AC by ratio. So for the distance patient will be having esophoria for the distance and all the basin difficulties which means we are having negative fusional virgins and in virgin facility there will be uh, low values for these two tests by, uh, because of there will be a problem for patient having divergence. So in divergence insufficiency uh, the tip for remembering patient will be having esophoria for the distance and basin difficulties. So next we are going to talk about normal AC by ratio where we are having fusional virgins dysfunctions which means patient will be having both the base out difficulty and basin difficulty. So the signs of fusional virgins dysfunctions are patient will be having problem with positive fusional virgins as well as negative fusional virgins and both accommodative plus and minus lens difficulty binocularly and NRA and PRA which we are doing with plus lenses and minus lens patient will be having difficulty but the monocular accommodative facility will be normal and talking about the four year status the patient will be having either uh, orthophoria or there will be low exo or esophoria for distance and near. So the next is basic exophoria and esophoria. So which has uh, we are talking about the deviations of Fourier status. So there will be equal Fourier status for the distance and near which is talking about basic. So in exophoria for basic exophoria we are talking about the amount of deviation for the distance as well as near will be approximately same and basic esophoria the amount of deviation for the distance and near will be the same. And the signs of both exophoria and esophoria of basic will be same as patient who is having the convergence insufficiency and the convergence excess. So now we have talked about low AC by ratio and normal AC by ratio. Next video we will talk about the conditions which we are having with high AC by ratio. Hope this video was useful and informative to you. Please like, share and subscribe.